Hey gang, Michelle McPherson here. I've been in the car with Ed for the last couple videos that you've seen, but today we're in the office because I want to show you how to use Squidoo. Squidoo is seen as an authority in the eyes of the search engines, which means that any links that you get from them carry a little bit more weight than a link that you'd get from a non-authority site. So this is an important site in your link building strategy. Let's take a look and see how to do it. When you land on the Squidoo homepage, it'll look something like this. You want to click the sign up button and skip this Facebook nonsense and just click the create a Squidoo account the traditional way. Then you're going to fill out the sign up form, pick a username, it's okay and even encouraged if your username is related to your niche, and fill out the rest of the form plus the security word and then click join now. Don't forget to accept their terms of service either. Then click the build my first page link and what Squidoo is going to help you do is to build a page on their website. So they're asking you what your page is going to be about and this is where you want to put your main keyword phrase. Then click continue. Now in step two, they're going to suggest a lens title for you and that should be your main keyword phrase. They're also going to ask you to set the URL for your lens which will be squidoo.com forward slash and then you should have your main keyword phrase directly after that. Now sometimes you might find that your main keyword phrase isn't available, in which case you can experiment with removing a dash here and there or even adding a word at the end like that. Pick a category for your lens and then rate it, whether this is G or R rated. Next, step three, Squidoo is going to ask you to add tags to your page. So select three, at least, tags that should be added to your page that are related to your main keyword phrase. Squidoo will also have suggested your main keyword phrase already in the best tag for my lenses section. So you just have to fill out the three extra ones below. Then enter in the image verification and click continue. Next, you can select whether you'd like to earn money from your Squidoo lens or not. Select the option that appeals the most to you and then go ahead and click the continue button. Now here's a look at what your lens looks like right now and we obviously need to add content to it. But just to give you kind of an overview of how these things work. Initially there's an introductory lens or section to your lens. You want to add a title and some introductory text and it's a really good idea if you could add an image to this area also because the search engines love multimedia content like images. There's a text module and you can choose to replace this with some text of your own. An Amazon module which you can obviously edit to include certain Amazon products that are related to your niche. There's a guest book module already on your lens which allows people to leave comments. You can configure any of these by clicking the edit button. And then you also have the opportunity to add other modules to your lens like the video module or the poll module or the RSS module. And you just click the plus next to them and then click add. You can rearrange the different modules in your lens by using the sort modules area and you can change the tags that you've already put on your lens to include more should you desire to do so. So now that we have an idea of how the lens works, let's go ahead and edit our introduction. You'll click the edit button and then you'll get some options as to how you can configure this particular module. So we already have our main keyword phrase as the title for our lens, but the introduction needs a title as well. And then we give our lens a description. Now big tip here that I want you to follow along with, when you enter in your short description and it only has to be a sentence or two, make sure that you link back to your site. Use your main keyword phrase as anchor text. And in this example, this is what it looks like. My main keyword phrase is make your own soap and I'm linking back to my site about making your own soap. When this is published, this link will be live. It'll be the blue underlined link that says make your own soap and that'll help give my make your own soap site credit in the search engines for being about this main keyword phrase. I've also uploaded a picture as you can see to make the lens a little bit more visually interesting. So I'm going to delete this Amazon module. And then I'm going to go down to the guestbook module because that's one of my favorite modules. 
What the guest book does is it allows other people to add a comment on your lens. This is good because it allows other people then to create content, that is words, on your Squidoo lens so that you don't have to write quite as much. So let's click the edit button and we want to give our guest book a title and you can also leave a short description to encourage people to leave a comment in your guest book. The options below are entirely up to you as to how you would like to configure them. And once you've done that, go ahead and click save. Now, another module that's super important for you to be using is the RSS module. So go ahead and click the plus button next to it and then click add. Now, every single WordPress direct blog comes with its own RSS feed. So go ahead and click edit and then we're going to add in our WordPress direct blogs RSS feed to our Squidoo lens, which will then help us get even more links from our Squidoo lens back to our main site. And it'll also use your post titles as anchor text. So we need to give this module a title and then we're going to enter in our RSS feed. Now the RSS feed URL is just your domain.com. forward slash feed. How many headlines would you like to show? Three is fine, but you can change that up if you'd like. Uh, for this next part, you want to put the excerpt or no excerpt. Either one of those is fine. Don't put everything available. That'll post your entire blog post onto your Squidoo site, which you don't want because it's already on your site, so you don't need it anywhere else. How frequently should it be updated? Once a day should be fine, unless you plan on posting a lot of content to your site, then you may want it to update more often. And would you like to display HTML in the excerpt? I put no, just because sometimes it can mess up the formatting of your Squidoo lens. Then go ahead and click save. Now it's gonna go and fetch your RSS feed. And while it's doing that, we're gonna add another module to our lens. You can add any of the modules that Squidoo lists on the right hand side or you can click the Browse All Modules link and see even more modules that are available. Now, we don't want everybody building the exact same lens in the exact same order, so I'm not gonna tell you what's best for you or your particular niche, but with all the modules that are available, add one or two others so that your lens varies and is different from the other Squidoo lenses out there. Some of the ones that I really like are the Poll module, the video module, the text with big picture, and even the Amazon recommendations module if your niche lends itself to products that are available on Amazon. Finally, we want to finish up this text module that's been sitting here using the stock text. So go ahead and click the edit button. And here's where you want to paste in some of that content that you've been creating. 10 minutes only does not need to be a masterpiece, but paste it in the enter your text below area give it a title. You can give it a subtitle if you'd like, but it's not required. And once again, if you can include a picture, that's great because people do love pictures and it creates a little bit more visual interest on your page. Now in your box here where you have written or pasted a writing that you've done earlier, do not forget once again to link back to your main site using your keyword phrase as anchor text. And you can see I've done the same thing I did before here where I've entered in the HTML to link back to my site. There's my main keyword phrase. It's the anchor text. That's the end of the link. And let me show you one other little tip down here in the pictures section. I have uploaded a picture of uh, some homemade soap since that's relevant to my topic and I want you to upload a picture as well. You label your photo with your main keyword phrase and then link the photo to your URL. And this will give another instance and another way in which this Squidoo lens links back to your main site and therefore gives it a vote in the eyes of the search engines for having that link and helps create more link popularity for your WordPress Direct site. So once you've completed those steps, You've got a title, you have some text, you're linking to your site with your main keyword phrases, anchor text, and you've also uploaded a photo that is linked to your site. Go ahead and click the save button. Ultimately, you should end up with an introduction module that links back to your site using your main keyword phrases, anchor text. You should also have a text module with some unique content that you've created that again, links back to your main site using your keyword phrases, anchor text. You should also include the RSS module with your blog's RSS feed in it. Again, those RSS links will be pointing back to your site, creating more links. 
The guest book is a great module to include in your lens, and you should also have one, two, three, four other modules included in your lens to make it unique and your own. Play around with them, rearrange them as you see fit, and when you're ready to go, click the publish button. At that point, you'll have the opportunity to view your lens by clicking the view this lens button. And here is my lens as folks see it when they land on my page. Looks good. We want to double check our links and make sure that they're working. Assuming everything checks out, you are all good. You've got a link from the behemoth authority site Squidoo linking to your WordPress direct blog, which is going to help it gain authority of its own and some trust in the eyes of the search engines and over time rank as well. Go to challenge.co for any materials mentioned in this video and to see all of the other videos in the challenge. This has been Michelle McPherson. It has been a pleasure making this video for you, and I hope that you had a good time building your Squidoo link. Bye-bye.